Welcome to Downtown Sports. My name is Downtown Stephen Brown, and in today's video, is Mitch Marner insane? I don't know. We're going to talk about it today. Oh, he's definitely making me insane, that's for sure. But guys, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support and the likes on the last video. If we could keep that rolling, that would be amazing. All right. And the inspiration for this video comes from the tweet that's up on the screen from James Account for Hockey. If you're not following him on Twitter, you're doing yourself a disservice. He transcribes a lot of radio interviews. This one coming from Tim and Sid. So Chris Johnson on Tim and Sid says that he thinks the Marner deal will be in the 10 to 10 and a half million dollar range, maybe even 11. The Leafs are willing to do a deal as short as three years and they don't want four or five. Four years would walk him right to being an unrestricted free agent. Five years would make him due at the exact same time as Nylander and Matthews. So those are both no-go options. Marner doesn't want eight. All right, and this got me thinking a little bit, right? I did a video yesterday talking about is John Tavares a problem? And the final verdict was obviously, no, he's not. He scored 47 goals last year, was second in team scoring, one of the best players in the league over the past five years. It got me thinking about how the NHL works and who gets paid and who doesn't. And if we're looking around the league, it's guys who score goals that get paid, right? The John Tavares is of the world, the Austin Matthews is of the world, the Alex Ovechkins, so on and so forth. You don't believe me? Let's take a look. We're back on over on Cap Friendly here, and here are the highest paid forwards in the National Hockey League. Now, from Carter McDavid to Evgeny Malkin is the cutoff for players making $9 million or more. Now, there's 14 players there, and one thing that I wanted to stress out is that only two of them do not own a 30 goal season. One of those two guys is Jack Eichel in Buffalo. And I mean, Buffalo is just a joke all around, all over the place, right? Patrick Berglund walked away from about $9 million over three seasons just because he didn't want to play there. So, I mean, that doesn't even really count because they got to pay a premium just to get guys in the door. And also the team has sucked and Jack Eichel's a pretty good player. So he'll probably crack 30 goals this year and put that to bed. The only other guy on the list is Mark Stone and he recently signed a $9.5 million deal for eight years. So Mitch, I don't know what you're doing because if you think that you're any better than Mark Stone, I got some news for you, all right? You're not better than Mark Stone. Mark Stone is one of the best defensive players in this game, very underrated among the stats community and people that watch him. And it's just, I don't, I don't really know what to do with Mitch Marner anymore, okay? I don't know what to do with him anymore because it's just frustrating. Nothing that he's been saying, nothing that his camp's been saying makes any sense. I don't I don't know where this 10 and a half or 11 million dollar number is coming from it's blasphemy and i want it to stop maybe this is just all in our heads and he's gonna sign for a realistic number after all but mitch you're wearing down everyone's patience all right and the season's starting soon so we're just gonna we're just gonna dust things off and we're gonna be okay <sighs> i really don't know what to do with mitch marner anymore so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to click the like button if you did like it and subscribe for more because more is always on the way. And as always, take care.